Hey guys, my name is Luke Hendrickson, and we're going to do some tutorials for the new Bethel Music We Will Not Be Shaken album. I played keys on the live record. You can find the, the uh, video online and on iTunes. Um, today, we're just going to cover some of these specific keyboard parts. We're going to talk about what key it's in, the tempo, the type of sounds we're using, and then we're going to um, show you practical examples of how to play those. So this first song is called Everby. Uh, Callie Heiligenthal is the artist for this one. It's in the key of D, and it's at 138 beats per minute. We have four primary sounds for this song. We're going to be using a piano. We're going to be using a separate kind of piano called Mrs. Mills. That's the, the specific name of the patch. And then we're going to be using uh, a Celeste, which, more, which is more of a bell sound. And they're going to have something called Dreamy Keys, which is more of a pad. So let's kind of demo each one. So this is the piano sound. And then we have the Mrs. Mill sound. And then we have the Celeste. And then we have the Dreamy Keys pad sound. So those are going to be our building blocks for this song. You can find some of those sounds on worshipyou.com, and we'll provide the reason session for you there. All right, so let's just dive in here. We're going to start the song now. Here we go. Intro.
All right, so let's dive into the specific parts and mention how we're making those happen. The beginning, we're having a piano and a celeste combination. I'm putting the piano in this keyboard and the celeste in this keyboard. So I hit the low notes here, just octaves in the left hand, and celeste octaves in the right hand. That's a six minor there, and the three minor, celeste. So you're kind of splitting it up in that way. Then the verse just does whole note chord changes here. So kind of octaves in the left hand and a, a inverted chord in the right hand clustered down low like this. So that covers the verse and the pre-chorus. Now the chorus hits and you have this dreamy pad happening. I'm kind of doing a D octave here with the fifth in the middle. And you can just hold that those notes right there, or you can move it around if the chord changes. So the chorus. So that's the basic chorus section. After that, it goes back to the piano on the verse. Pre-chorus as well stays on the piano. Now it hits the, uh, the next chorus, and we have a Mrs. Mills patch, and that is the kind of unique piano sound that you heard. It's it's the 3-5, three, 3-5, five, three, five, and then it moves up to the 3-6, and then 3-7. Really cool sound for these counter melodies. Counter melodies make music so much fun. You have the main vocal melody here, then you have a counter melody kind of dancing around it, and that Mrs. Mills patch really adds a nice texture in that way. Um, then it goes back to the bridge, you have low piano chords. Then you break, and then you come back to the Mrs. Mills patch. And at the end, there's a celeste happening. It's on the, you call that an eight, five, three, nine, eight, five, three, nine, eight, six, three, nine, seven, five, two. One more time. Eight, five, three, nine, eight, five, three, nine, eight, Six, three, nine, seven, five, two. Sounds like math, doesn't it? So you can either learn it by ear or you can use that number system and you can figure it out in that way. Have fun. And it's why I sing your prayer.